Hello everyone, this is Indradeep Kumar, Assistant Professor, IAIA IA Hyderabad. In this video, we will see beam deflection due to various load by the method of complementary energy. As I already told you, so how by different different types of load we can use for the same beam and then what deflection will be there that we can find. So today we will see the combination of the loads that are of different type. Okay, so this is the lecture topic that beam deflection due to various load. That various load means various type of point load also will be there, there then uniformly distributed load, right, and different different portion. So this is the question. Question is calculate the vertical displacement of the quarter and mid span point B and C. So so see a quarter here at this point that is given L by 4. This total length is L. So quarter is L by 4 and the second and second is at half of this one that is given as point C of the simply supported beam of length L and flexural rigidity EI loaded as shown in figure. So now here they given like PBF at B, PCF at C and uniformly distributed load is W per unit length as we are already know that we are writing in terms of this one. So W per unit length is given just in the analyzed way. Now here in the question might be possible that instead of PV or PCF they will give you the value of like 100 kN is acting here this is 10 kN per meter like that they will give the value so that's why I'm just explaining the normal one means generalized equation later you can put according to the given value of P, B, F, P, C, F that is force acting at B, force acting at C and this uniformly distributed load and this length is not necessary that it would be always L by 4 or L by 2. That may give at any point. So whatever the distance will be there, that you have to replace from L by 4 to that distance. Okay, so question clear now. So we know the complementary energy formula, right? Already we used in previous video also. You can see, so total complementary energy will be what? C of the system including the fixious load. Now this time we have to consider the fixious load also. Right? So how many fixious loads are acting? One fixious load, two fixious load and this U D L. So all this and because of that whatever the moment will be there that also we have to consider. Right? So this formula already we had seen when two forces are there. Right? Now the third force also is there. Right, that is for one force, this one is there. Already we had seen in the previous video. There what we did, we just found the d theta value, dm value substituted and integrated. You can see how to find this d theta by dm in the previous videos. When we derive the generalized equation and the same we used for the cantilever beam also when can in the cantilever beam in last video like cantilever beam is there here, one load is acting at the frame then what will be the deflection? They also we use the same concept. So for the same we are using. Now in this case one more force is there at P B F. So because of the P B F, what will be the deflection? That will be delta C. Because of <coughs> P sorry P C F delta C. Because of P B F delta B will be the deflection. Right. So this is what force into displacement. That is the work done. That is also the form of energy. So this all our energy here. This is P. Cf into delta V that will also the load that energy because of the fi fixious load. Next is the load which is acting uniformly that is delta W right and dz the distance where it's acting just for element 1 right. What is the length is given? So here we have just taken that a small element of it. Here just take anywhere a small element from this at a distance of z and this as dz. So right now we are finding for this one. So this will be what? Whatever the change in weight will be there delta w right into dz. Okay that will be there. Yeah. So delta w dz will be the and for the entire span from 0 to l. So from here we are counting just see l by 4 is there. So from this end from here to here. So here if suppose this is 0 then this end will be l. Why? Because just see a load from 0 to L is there. In some question might be they will give only this part. Right. Or from here to here. So up to that only distance you have to take. Suppose they will. Or just like question will be here. 
Okay, this is simply supported beam. Now here they added some load P1, here P2, right? Same, just you can take L by 4 from here to here, L by 2, and this is L. So now instead of that one, or you can say just anything. Just from here they started. Okay, then now from where to where that is there uniformly, then L by 4 to L. So in that case, the limit will be L by 4 to L for the last one. So for this one, that will be L by 4 to L. Instead of same, if suppose that will be from here only. Right, so now this is from here to here. So then we will take the limit from L by 2 to L. So don't get confused with 0 to L only from where to where that uniformly distributed load is there. From that point to the other end, you have to take the limit. Means the span of the uniformly distributed load. Right? So this is the total energy. Next step, what we did? Generally, what we are doing? Just differentiating with respect to that particular force. So for finding what we have to do, if suppose now two we have to find. So definitely we have to integrate what? Simultaneously we are considering or one by one you can consider and then you can find for the same delta V, delta C and all. So let's see first we are finding for in terms of P, V that means delta V we are finding. So for finding delta V what we have to do? Differentiate this with respect to P, V, F because that is there. So okay, let's differentiate. So after differentiating, what you will get? I'm differentiating here only. So right, this one will get cancelled because of differentiation and integration. Here this is so d or do c by do p b f is equal to this becomes what? This is l that is zero to l d theta, right? And c that is differentiation of dm is dm by D, P, B, F, or you can say like do m. So do m by do P, B, F, and minus this differentiation of this will give you what? Only the delta V. This is because with respect to delta V, we are differentiating. So this is what? Constant. Here delta V is not there. Right. So del sorry, delta P, B, F is, is P, B, F is not there. So P, B, F is not there means this is constant. So differentiation of constant is. 0. So this will become 0. Again here PBF is not there because this term also is constant. So for that also this will be the constant. So what we got? Only these two term. Right? So only these two term we got. Sorry, these two term. Right? Now same way for equilibrium what is required? Again that energy must be equals to 0 because that energy should be conserved. So delta C by delta PBF or dou C by dou PBF must be equal to 0. So whatever the dou C by dou P B a value is there, just equate to 0. Right? So now L, that is the integration that is given, dou, that is d theta into dou m by dou P B F minus delta V, that is differentiation of this one, is equal to 0. So from here, what we will get? Delta V equals to, later we will see also that delta V equals to what? 0 to L or same as L, d theta into do m by do p b f right this will be there so for finding deflection at b we will use this formula okay next so complementary energy will equation will be same right for all the cases just with respect to what or where we are finding the deflection that point you have to consider okay so now next what we will do for deflection at point c we will differentiate this equation again with respect to P, B, sorry, P, C, F. Now we are differentiating this to P, C, F. So this will be do C by do P, C, F. Okay. Again, this will get removed. So integral L, right? D theta into D M by or do M by do P, C, F. Because with respect to P, C, F, we are differentiating. So now here PCF is not there. So this term will be 0. Here PCF is there. So PCF integration of PCF with respect to PCF is 1. So minus 1 into delta C. So delta C. 
Okay. Again, here PCF is not there. Means this is constant. So we can remove that one. So after what? Again, we got two. So these two. Okay. So let's see. With respect to PVF, if you are differentiating, then only PVF will be there. With respect to PCF, then only PCF will be there. That means that delta C. Now again from the energy conservation or energy equation that must be for equilibrium that must be equal to 0. Equate 0. So after equating 0 what we will get? Delta C equals to L D theta into do M by do P C F. So just see remember here if you are finding C deflection at C then here you have to take that value at C. If you are finding for B then you have to take that value of P B. Right. Now, earlier also I explained or I told you that most of the things we are considering as the linear equation. Right. That linear one. So now, if you will see this one, so assuming a linear elastic beam, equation 2 and 3 becomes. Right. Delta B equals to this one, just I wrote. And so delta B will be what? Now, after putting here. Right. M and do M by do P. So D theta. That uh, in previous also we had seen what was d theta? d theta was same d theta equals to that theta equals to l by r dl by dr right dr what was 1 by k so that becomes k dl was that time you assume that dz so k dz d theta equals to k dz this was there right so from only the replacing what we got after replacing here that 1 by ei, okay, that m by ei is your this value d theta that already in previous video also we proved. So just substitute here for this one. So now what we got? Del c by del pcf or delta c by delta pcf is equals to l that integration from 0 to l d theta. d theta was m by ei, okay, minus that sorry into. What is the do m by do p c f? So this is this one, right? Now from here m we can take sorry e one by e i we can take common why because that is constant. So take one by e i common. So now we have del c by del p c f equals to integration l and here one by e i will be out of the integration. Now what we have m do m by do p c or do p c f for c similarly for do p b also right so now delta c will be this one so now we have the value of delta c and delta b also we have so this here difference will be this value so once we have the delta p value delta c value next what we will do now we will find for the individual point Right. So first, we are finding moment from because we required the moment formula that we have to substitute m in this formula. Right. And we have to substitute. So let's find the value of m. So first case is from a to b. See the figure a to b that is from here to here. You will see. So a to b is what? P B F. So let's see for that one. Now what will be the moment of this one. So 3 by 4 P B F plus 1 by 2 P C F plus W L by 2 into Z. So now let's see here how you will find this one or let me write general equation for this one. So now for the figure how we will find the moment. Okay. Now at this point we are finding so first what will be the P B F for P B F Let's take anywhere this point z. That z will vary from 0 to L by 4 for first part. Right. So from this point, what will be this one? P, B, F. Okay. Where this force will act. So let's see. This total is L by 4. So what will be the distance? 3 by 4 L. Right. So let's see here. 3 by 4 L. L what we assumed here? Z. So this will give you what? Sorry. 3 by 4 PBF into Z. This is because of PB. 
where the distance is there at L by 2. So, for PCF, what will be there? 1 by 2, that is Z, P, C, F into Z. Right? Now, for the moment where it is acting, W, L is the given that uniformly distributed. And where it is acting, we are assuming, we are reading mechanics of solid also, this is acting at the center. So, this total is W, L. Where this will act at the center, that is center means distance is L by 2. So, W into L into L by 2 will give you what? W L square by 2. Right? So, minus, I mean, sorry, plus because it's wrong word, so W L square by 2. Sorry, so here that is there. So, this W L is the weight into Z. Later we will take the L by 2. Right now, in terms of Z. Minus W and so Z. W W will be the subject of small in one and that will also act as. Now what we can take, we can take common from here by z. So let's take common here. Now let's continue. So now z we are taking common from these three terms. Right? So now let's see what we will get. Here 3 by 4 P B F. From here plus 1 by 2 P C F. Plus W L by 2. Right? And then minus W Z square by 2. Okay, now this is a total moment. Now what we have to do, now we have the value of M. Okay, so now from this equation what we require M that we got. And do M by do P D F is here. So let's see, whatever is required, so this M will be same for both equations. Now the only thing what we require do m by do p z. Means what we got the m formula, the m equation, just differentiate with respect to p z. Right. So now after differentiating this with respect to p z, what we will get? This term again will be zero. This term there is no p z, so again it will be zero. Here also there is no p z, so again it will be zero. Right. Now what is left here? Do m by do p z. Means that's what p z is divided by p. So this will be Three, so this three by four. So this term get cancelled. That is there, and we are differentiating with respect to PBF, right? So this PBF differentiation of PBF with respect to PBF becomes one. Hence, what is left? The window divided. So that becomes three by four. So this is what? What? Go M by go PBF. Now similarly. What we will do next? We require that do m by do p c f. Right. So how we will find do m by do p c f? Do p c f. Now again differentiate this equation. Right. After differentiation, what we will get this time? Do p b f will be positive. Means that becomes zero. Here, half p c only is the variable. Right. So this time, differentiation of half p c will be one by two. Yeah. This is constant. We are differentiating. This is constant, so we are differentiating. Yes. So what is that? That is rho m by rho p c f is so equal to 1 by 2. Right, so that is. Now we have rho m by rho p c f. We have rho m by rho p c f. And already we have the value of m, but we will substitute in the equation of delta vn, delta c to the epsilon, and delta vn, delta c. Sorry for the problem. Okay, let's start. Now we will find uh, yeah, what we are seeing from B to C. So, some technical issues also again, I will explain about the A to B in the last. So, first let's see first B to C. How we will find so first again what we have to do? We have to find first the moment equation. After finding the moment equation, what we will do? Again, we will differentiate with respect to PBF for finding reflection of do and by do PBF and then do m by do c f. So for all the points, whatever in the figure is given, so like from here to here, here to here, that is a to b, b to c, and c to b. So this procedure for this question will break into three parts. So first, what we did from a to b, how much will be there? So what we did that time here or uh, in later basis, let's see the first at b. Okay. Hmm. So now from b to c. 
So B to C again what will be there? 3 by 4 of PDF into Z. Right? Then it will be the fear. That M A to B 3 by 4 PDF plus half PCF plus W by 2. Right? 3 by 4 PBF plus half PCF plus WL by 2. That is first that we have from A to B and then W Z square by 2 is because of that UDL. Now next one is changed. Mm -hmm. So this PBF also we have to consider. Now see in this figure whatever is there. Now as you move this whatever the loads are there just add that will act also. So just introduce that load also. So what is here? So this is PCF. Right? Again what we will consider this as Z. So Z minus that length will be the total length for this one. So Z minus what was that length? L by 4. Why? Because now we are considering Z somewhere here. So this is total Z. So this distance is what? How much? That is Z minus L by 4. Why? Because this is already L by 4. So Z minus L by 4 into PCF. So Z minus L by 4 into P, sorry, PBF. Right? Now, next what we have to do? Again the same way. Differentiate with respect to what? PBF first to get do M by do PBF. Then same equation differentiate with respect to PCF to get do M by do PCF. Right. So now differentiating with respect to dou m pvf. So pvf this is there. So 3 by 4 and pvf will get cancelled. So 3 by 4 z. Right. Here. Now this is pcf. So constant means 0. Here again pvf is not there. So here again this will be 0. PCF pvf is not there. So pvf again this will be 0. But here pvf is there. So differentiation of this pvf into z will give the value. So differentiation of this will be what? Z minus L by 4 and here 3 by 4 Z is there. Right. So let's write from here first. So this will give you what? 3 by 4 Z. Okay. And this one. So this is minus. So minus Z minus L by 4. So from here what we will get? 3 by 4 Z minus z plus l by 4. So minus z is there and this is 3 by 4 z. So what we will get? Minus 1 by 4 z plus l by 4. Or we can write this as l by 4 l by 4 minus z by 4. Take 1 by 4 common. So 1 by 4 l minus z. So that is 1 by 4 l minus z. Now in similar way, we will, we will differentiate with respect to what? This time PCF. So delta PCF will differentiate. Okay. So now what do we get here? So let's see here. PCF. So this time this will be 0. This will be what? 1 by 2z. So I am writing here whatever the term will be there and then we will simplify. So from here 1 by 2 and z. So after differentiating 1 by 2z. Then this term will be 0. Here again PCF. PCF is not there. So 0. So only what? 1 by 2z. So dou m by dou PCF is equals to 1 by 2z or you can say simply z by 2. Right? Now we are finding for from C to D. Right? From C to D now we are finding. So just see here. This is required. So now we can take from this side also if z is this one. For this load, Z minus L by 4 will be there. For this load, Z minus L by 2 will be there. So that we have to take care while taking that value. Right. So now from here, this is the C. That's why L minus Z is there. So from there, that side, because this from left we have taken that 3 by 4. So now from the right side, 1 by 4 PVF. This is acting either from both the sides as 1 by 2 PCF. This is still remains same WL by 2, that is a weight. And now this time the distance will be L minus Z. Right? Now, next we got for UDL W by 2 into 
L into L by 2. That is the formula. So W by 2 into L into L by 2. That is the W L is the total weight. So here what we have W L minus Z is the total weight. Right? Now what we are doing, whatever the distance is there, that same divided by 2. That at that place it's acting. So L minus Z by 2, this weight will act. So after multiplying, what we will get? W into L minus Z whole square by 2. So W by 2 into L minus Z whole square by 2. Next step, what again the same, everything just uh, you have to take care of the moment equation. Once moment equation is clear, then differentiate with respect to PBF, PCF, you will get the dou m by dou PBF formula. And after that, you have to substitute all in the deflection equation. Right. So now, after differentiating with respect to PBF, what we will get? See the equation PBF is here, right? So for this 1 by 4 into L minus Z. So 1 by 4 into L minus Z, right? PCF means this will be 0. Here, again, there is no PBF, so this also will be 0. Here also, there is no PBF, so 0. Means what is left? 1 by 4 L minus Z. So that's here. Do M by do PBF is L minus Z by 4. Now, differentiate with respect to PCF. So in this term, there is no PCF, means this will be 0. In this term, PCF is there, so this will be what? 1 by 2 into L minus Z. So 1 by 2 into L minus Z. Right? With this term, there is no PCF, 0. There is no PCF, 0. So overall, what do you get? 1 by 2, L minus Z. So this is here. Do M by do PCF, 1 by 2. L minus 0. Now we have everything what is required for the deflection formula. For deflection formula like delta B is there, then what we required? 0 to L, M. So now we have M for each condition, right? And then do M by do here for B, so do P, B, F, right? So here for all the three conditions we have to find for do B also and that is delta B also and delta C also with the proper limit. So now for finding sum at B because of all the load just add all the forces. So first let's find for delta B. Right? So for delta B this is what that was from where delta first part A to B is 0 to L by 4 so L by 4. This is for B to C. B to C from where we start from L by 4, where it ends L by 2. So this is for B to C, right? Sorry, uh, A to B, A to B, B to C. Next will be C to D, right? So this is for C to D and whatever the distance is there, that moment into distance. So now just after substituting the value of what? M and do M by do PB. So this value is of what? do m by do p this z is there and this is the value of m right similarly for this one that we got as 1 by 4 l minus z that is do m by do p z this is do m by so this for this w that is delta b so what is there here right for all the condition means we can write just we are different dividing into three terms so this should be 0 to l by 4 m a to B and do M by do P B F what we got for A to B into B Z plus for so this is from A to B. Okay. Now this will be next already we reached to L by 4. Now so that will be started from L by 4 and B to C is L by 2. So this will be now M B to C into do m by do p b f because we are finding for b okay into dz right so from this will be b to c plus up we reach up to l by 2 so now l by 2 to l m c to d into do m by do p b f what we got for C to D, right, that into DZ. So now this will be the sum of all the forces acting. So just put all the values here, 
then use your calculator multiply divide that means just simplify and you will get the answer so just see after substituting what we found earlier what we are getting the final equation of that delta b right okay so now 0 to l by 4 l by 4 to l by 2 and next this is from l by 2 to l now you just see here you can integrate separately right or just see here because this value is different so just integrate substitute the limit 0 to l by 4 okay in first multiply with the z okay or let's multiply with i'm just multiplying here this term one term i'm showing and similarly you can do for the others also so just see here first after multiplying what you will get 3 by 4 z multiplied so 3 by 8 w l z square right after multiplying by 2 dz i'm just giving that is 0 to l by 4 and minus same for this term 0 to l by 4 this will be what 3 by 8 w z q dz right so 3 by 8 is common we can take out w l is also constant so here this will be 3 by 8 w l integration of z square is what z q by 3 limit is 0 to l by 4 minus similarly for this one 3 by 8 w we can take common 3 by 8 w take common so this will be 0 that is after integration of z q z power 4 by 4 right so now after simplifying this what we will get after put z equals to l by 4 so finally this will be or let me write here so 3 by 8 w into l l is what l by so l is it means l we cannot change because w only we can change so into z cube that is z is what l by 4 so l by 4 whole cube divided by 3 and once we will put 0 this whole thing becomes 0 so no need to go for 0 minus similarly here 3 by 8 w after putting z equals to l by 4 this will be l by 4 power 4 right so like this we can simplify first so first simplify in order you can just take that as i1 i2 i3 so instead of going that much longer you can separately take i1 first solve for i1 like this then go for i2 solve for i2 then for i3 and later just add all the values then by putting proper limit so here you have to take care of multiplication division because what that power is there so don't go for like this z by 3 is there so l by 4 okay and l cube we are taking so no l by 4 whole cube will be there what i substituted here so that time you have to take care while taking the cube or square whatever is coming and to use proper bracket then it will be easier to identify that you used properly or not so after simplifying suppose now if you are simplifying that you are getting answer in because you once you will use the calculator you won't get this one then you will get in terms of decimal 0 0.03 something is there so or just you can find that answer in terms of decimal also because with decimal if you will put on the value of z square z square by 2 3 whatever this value is coming that will give in the decimal form so decimal form answer also is correct but this one should be correct w and power 4 by ei should be correct and then this value should be approximate also up to two digit minimum it should be same and after that if it's varying that is okay because of the calculator so we are putting then take care of this one or else just simplify and then later put that value into the calculator or if you don't want to use calculator then this answer will be there so now this we did for delta b now next similarly for delta c this what whatever the values are there that i explained just right after substituting this expand i expanded this one same thing you have to write for sigma that is delta c right so let's see for the delta c what we can right so delta c i am writing what was there dou c 
I'll just see this equation. Delta C is what? 0 to L, right? M, then do M by do P C F. This is there, right? Now M again we have to take what? Delta C equals to now I am dividing again this 0 to L into 3, 1, 3 to B. So 0 to L by 4, M A to B, right? Into do M by do P C F for A to B. So this will be for A to B. You have this value, already we found. You have this value, plus multiply. That's all. And then simplify like previous one. Then plus L by 4 to L by 2. Now here this will be M B to C into do M by do P C F. Okay. This is for B to C what we got. Okay. Then third, this will be what L by 2 to L M C to D into do M by do P C F of C to D. Already we have, we found all these six values. Just substitute values, integrate and so just see whatever the WL, because WL is constant here, only you have to integrate what? Z. So just take constant whatever the things are there, like some numerical digits are also there, right? 3 by 4, 3 by 8. So just take those things common. Keep inside the integration only the Z term and DZ term. Whatever the power is there after simplifying that one. So once you have then integrate in terms of z, then whatever the power will be there, later substitute whatever the limit is there. So for first case, 0 to L by 4 is there, then no need to put the value of 0. So easily you can simplify. But for this one, L by 4 to L by 2. So first you have to put all the L by 2 limit minus all, that means everywhere, wherever z is there, L by 4. So while putting this one, take care of that minus sign with the proper bracket otherwise chances are there that minus become plus and plus become minus so while putting l by 4 and l by 2 that take care because l by 2 minus l by 4 the limit should be there upper limit minus lower limit similarly here also what you have to do first upper limit so l first put whatever the you are getting in integration l first then minus with proper bracket sign because already you are using the small bracket so use the curly bracket okay and then put that values after putting whatever the L by 2 you are getting Y because upper limit minus lower limit. Then further simplify, okay, you will get the final answer this. Might be you will get in decimal also if you will put everything in the calculator or if you will calculate just by taking LCM and all, then you will get this answer. Clear? So like that you can solve for sigma that delta C also delta B also. So try to write the, this full equation, substitute the value, simplify and then only to get the answer. Okay, so let's once see because some disturbance are there. So we are starting just I am explaining till A to B once again properly. So our question is for different different position it's given at L by 4 and one force is the PVF at L by 2 another force is there PCF and uniformly distributed load is given W per unit. So for this, we have to find the deflection at B and C. Right. So first, we will find what the moment equation. Right. After finding the moment equation, we will see that delta C, BF, what will be there? Delta C, PF will be what? And this will be the, this one. So this is just to find the moment equation. That is already we derived also this formula. Right. Similarly, for delta C also, we will get. Now, we have to find what, what is required here, the CM and do M by do PCF for delta C and for delta B, M into do M by do PBF. So, now means we have to find the value of M and after finding the value of M, just to differentiate with respect to PBF and PCF. PBF for delta B and PCF for delta C and just substitute with the proper limit. So, let's see first. So this will be the M value. Why? Because let's see the figure. PVF is acting here. So now if you will assume somewhere here that value of Z, generally we are taking X, but here according to the book, 
what we are following that is maxon they just consider that as z so here also same so z is the point where we are considering right so that will give you what 3 by 4 z into pbf right next for half that will be what 1 by 2 that is at half only it's acting so 1 by 2 pcf next this is because of that load acting at the center that gives w the total length as l by 2 because that part also it's acting into z and this is because of the whole udl so udl formula generally what wz is the udl and where it's acting at z by 2 so wz square by 2 so this is for the udl okay this is for the whole udl up to l by 2 that we can take separately that up to l by 2 there so w into l by 2 into z so this is because of the point load bf this is because of the point load of pcf that is force acting at c this is the udl acting up to 0 to c okay and then this is the over all so now we have the moment equation from a to b so only these three things that you have to remember first what find this just show this formula and after that find the moment equation for all the three condition is a to b b to c c to d and after finding the moment equation what we require do m by do p regarding whatever we are finding if we are finding b that do delta b then do m by do p b f if finding delta c then do m by do p c f so after differentiating this the see here do m by do p b f is there so with this term p b f is there means this will be there here there is no p b f term so this will be zero with this there is no p b f term so this also will be zero why because constant differentiation is zero so here another zero because of there is no p b f so what is that 3 by 4 p b f into z so but p b f differentiation is one so that's why 3 by 4 z will be get so this we got do m by do p b f now next differentiate same with respect to pcf because 1 to b we are finding so differentiate at the same time so now from a to b and with respect to c so now differentiate with respect to c then what we will get this time pcf will be variable and pbf will be constant so now this time pbf is constant so this will be 0 pcf for pcf pcf becomes 1 so 1 by 2 into z so 1 by 2 and w l by 2 into z all are constant because pbf is not there so this is also 0 here again pbf is pcf is not there so again this will be 0 right so with this what we will get 1 by 2 z so 1 by 2 z clear so this is up to a now b to c again the same way we will find moment equation after finding the moment equation what we will do differentiate with respect to pbf pcf after differentiating with respect to pbf we will get this one after differentiating with respect to pcf we will get this one similarly from c to d moment equation will be this right because now this z this l minus z distance will be there we are coming towards right for this one here so if this is z then this will be what l minus z or what where we assume this as z in first case here in this case here in this case right so this will be the value of moment again same thing this is for point load this is for point load at c that is this is point load at b point load at c and this is everywhere l minus z is common because the, up to this the length will be same only now this is up to l by 2 whatever the Length that udl is there because of that that's why here this 2 is there and this is because of the whole udl in that part you have the moment equation from c to d differentiate again with respect to what pbf and pcf so after differentiating with respect to pcf sorry pbf this is there with respect to pbf sorry pcf this one so now we have all the values now we have to find what delta b and delta c so for finding delta b what we will do just we will differentiate that would just divide into 
three parts zero to l by four. Then m a to b what we got into delta m by delta b b f for finding b. This is also for a to b. Right. Similarly for l by four zero to sorry l by four to l by two m b c and do m by do b b f for b c similar then plus l by 2 to l m c d into do m by do p b f right so this we will put here now all the values we know let's substitute the value take whatever the constant is there here only the z will be variable so keep z dz inside the integration remaining everything Take out of the integration, integrate it, substitute the value of, of limit for this 0 to l by 4, for this l by 4 to l by 2, and here l by 2 to l. And then just simplify. You can use your calculator also to simplify. Then you will get the value in decimal. Or if you will convert, then also some other values might be there. But whatever that this should be same. So if you are manually calculating and that simplifying, taking LCM and all, then you will get this answer. If not, then your answer should be approximate to this value. Clear? Similarly, you can find, then again, same thing, you can go with delta C. So PC, PCF, PCF will change. Already you have the value of P, this value PCF, right? Substitute like this only, okay? And then just again simplify, you will get the answer right so all the three you have to take care of all the three parts individually like a to b b to c and c to d so for these things you have to do for all the three parts clear so this is for delta b and delta c so these two will be the final answer in some question might be like already we had seen that one question itself is there so in video we will see again if only the udl will be there then what happened Okay, that also we will see in the next video. Okay. Okay. Then if you have any doubt, you can just comment on the videos or else you can contact me for the clarification because for your exam, this one is very, very important. Topics are there, these things that chapter, right? So if you have any doubt, you just comment on the video or refer. So here some issue was there, so you just that's why I explain once again the A to B, right? So refer the last portion so that if in the starting, if any issue is there from A to B, then you can see in the last portion of the video, there you will find A to B value. And then how to add all the three, that is from A to B, B to C and C to D, that you can find. Okay, thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.